Today I'm going to take you through a 40 minute full body dumbbell strength workout using compound lifts only. You can do this with just a pair of dumbbells. I'm going to use a few different weights, but just make do with what you've got. I'm going to show you some options with or without a bench, so don't worry if you have or haven't got one. I'm going to start off with a moderate weight, body weight and dumbbell warm up. Then we'll go into the main strength sections. Let's get started. So if you grab some moderate weight dumbbells, we're going to have four exercises doing 30 seconds of each. We're going to start things off with an alternating arm push press, just getting the shoulders warmed up a little bit. I'm going to be using these 15 kilo dumbbells. That's about 33 pounds each. Just use something that doesn't feel too heavy for you, getting the blood flowing. So just a little drop of the knees, drive up. We don't want it to be too heavy yet. That's why we're alternating arms. So you're gonna save yourself for some strength work after the warm up. So it should be moderately challenging, but not reaching failure. Okay, next up, we've got some Romanian deadlifts. You're gonna feel those hamstrings stretching. Let's go. Scooting through, so pull the hips back. Keep the lats pulled back and down. Imagine you're putting your shoulder blades in your back pocket. It's quite a good cue for stopping you from rounding your back. You should feel those hamstrings stretching. It's perfectly fine to unlock the knees. Finish that rep. I'm gonna do alternating reverse lunges now. Let's go, just body weight will do for the warm up. But we'll be doing these with weights in the workout. You're gonna drop the back knee nice and close to the floor. Make sure the front knee isn't collapsing inwards. Get a nice low drop into each. We're going to do some body weight squats now. So you want your feet about shoulder width apart. I'm just going to squat down. You have a slight turn out to the feet. It's okay for the knees to come forwards over the toes. It's absolutely fine, but we do want to keep the heels down on the floor. Keep a relatively upright posture. After this, we're going straight into those alternating push presses for the second time. So we've just got two rounds of these four exercises and then we'll get into the workout. Don't worry if your heart rate's going up and you're getting slightly out of breath. That is a warm up. And the goal is to be warm. Okay, I've got my Romanian deadlifts now. Pulling the hips back, feeling those hamstrings, squeezing the glutes through. So I'm unlocking the knees. Your feet should be about hip width apart, so narrower. Then you squat, it's a hinge action. We're keeping almost straight legs for this. Dumbbells down, let's go straight into those alternating reverse lunges. Dropping nice and low. It's a nice little stretch on the hip and the quad as you drop that knee down. Control that front knee, ensuring it's not collapsing to the middle. The heel of the front foot should stay on the floor as well. Obviously the back heel is going to come off. All right, our last exercise in the warm up is just those body weight squats. So you should have a 
wider foot stance than your deadlifts. And with deadlifts, we're gonna have straight feet, so no turnout, but with your squats, you're gonna allow a slight turnout to the sides. And that means you have to externally rotate your hips, turning the knees out to match that toe angle to keep healthy knee alignment. All right, great job. We've got a short rest now. You're gonna grab some dumbbells. I'm actually gonna use the same ones that I warmed up with. And we're gonna do three strength exercises. We're gonna do a strict press. So that's a shoulder press um, without any help of the legs. We're gonna do some alternating reverse lunges. And we're gonna do some double dumbbell cleans. So we're gonna go for that standing shoulder press. If you've got a bench, you could do a seated shoulder press, but it works perfectly fine standing. So. Let's go, we're doing 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So notice I'm not bringing the dumbbells all the way down to my shoulders. I'm bringing them to about the base of my ears in line with the handles. That's because we wanna maintain time under tension for this exercise throughout the set. Make sure you're not leaning back. Press up, lock out at the top for a second. All right. So we've actually got 30 seconds off. We're gonna have some rest times within this. We're trying to develop some muscle size and strength. So you need to have those rest intervals built in. So we're gonna do alternating reverse lunges. You could do it with one dumbbell at your chest or one dumbbell in each hand. Get ready to go, alternating backwards lunges. If you struggle with lunges as it is, you can do these with body weight, just like in the warm up. I encourage you to use dumbbells if you can get full depth comfortably with your body weight. Always finish your reps. Don't worry too much about the timer. It's gonna get warm by the end of this workout. So next up, I've got some dumbbell cleans. A little bit of a power and strength move this. We're trying not to bicep curl them. We're trying to get the movement coming from a hip drive. So you're gonna come halfway down in a deadlift, drive and swivel under. If I rest the end of the dumbbells on my shoulders, scoot the elbows under and up. Save the biceps, use the hips, keep the dumbbells traveling, almost in a straight line up. Good job. So we're gonna take a little break now, and then we're gonna go onto that second of three rounds. Back to that strict press, doing the standing shoulder press with no assistance of your legs. Tempo wise, we're thinking one second up, maybe two to three seconds down. job. We've got those reverse lunges next. Just going to put some wrist straps on ready for some of the later exercises. 
you do these, remember one dumbbell, holding it at your chest like a goblet squat, one in each hand, or even just body weight. Job. We've got those cleans coming up now. Remember, the power should really come from a hip drive and a pull up. You know, swivel your elbows under rather than curling round. got another 45 second break now and then we're on to that third and final round in this first strength section I'm gonna change up the exercises so final time with that strict press alternating lunge and dumbbell clean. Need to make sure the shoulders are recovered, ready for that shoulder press. Remember there's no help of the legs. Squeeze the glutes to stop your lower back from overarching. Make sure you're not pressing forwards. You want to finish above the crown of your head. Getting heavy. All right, 30 seconds, then into your lunges. Just about long enough to have little sips of water, let your forearms recover a bit. Good job. If you've got wrist straps, you could even use some wrist straps to help with your grip. It's not necessary if you haven't got them, but it can help let your grip last a little longer. Maybe you could even go one dumbbell heavier if your grip wasn't giving up. Great job. You've actually got 
a whole minute off now, giving you a time to have a drink and change the weights. If you've got some, don't worry if you haven't got a variety of weights, you can just stick with what you've got. But if you have, um, I'm gonna go up to 20 kilo dumbbells. That's 45 pounds per dumbbell. If you're enjoying training with me, if you'd like more of a structured sets and reps plan, check out my dumbbell ebook, which I'll link in the description of this video. It's got video demos for all the exercises and program periodization throughout the plan. But let's start this next round with a goblet squat. Again, three rounds, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Starting with these squats. So same as the warm up, feet a bit wider than a deadlift. Slight turn out to the feet and an external rotation uh, or a turn out of the shin bones, keeping the knees out. Make sure your tailbone isn't excessively collapsing under at the bottom. Should keep the dumbbell close to your body. Great job, next up, I'm gonna do a dumbbell snatch. Now, you're gonna stay on the same side for 30 seconds. We'll have a 10 second transition between arms. The snatch should travel from the bottom to the top in one nice smooth movement, so there's no pausing at the shoulder for this. You can separate it into two movements on the way down, on the way up. We just want one nice explosive drive from the hips, pulling up in a straight line, receiving the dumbbell at the top with a locked elbow. Great job. So onto the other side. This next one's going to be tough. I'm going to do something called a dumbbell push jerk. So it's like a push press, but you're going to have a little drop under the dumbbells. If you can't do the technique, just do a regular push press. You're going to drive up. I'm just dropping under the last 20% at the top. Good job with that. That was tough. So you got that 45 second break now. We're going on to round two of three in the second section. So we've got those goblet squats. Remember you're keeping that upright posture for the goblet squats spine stacked on top of one another, not letting your upper back round forwards or your tailbone collapse under.
right, onto those snatches. Doing 30 seconds one side, a 10 second transition, which I wasn't ready for last time. And then 30 on the other side. Good job. We're going on to those push jerks or push press if you're struggling with the drop. I'm actually going to use that lighter pair of dumbbells that I used for the first section just to allow me to keep good technique and keep talking to you throughout whether you like it or not. So drive with the legs. I'm just dropping under the dumbbells at the last 10 to 15%. all the time it's better to do a lower weight well with good technique than do a heavy weight grinding it out it's probably just going to lead to excessive tendon stress that you don't need so we're going to go on to that third and final round in this second section then we're moving on to the final one which will be my favorite we've got some deadlifts some bench press and some rows but let's get started for those goblet squats. I saved the best till last to save you uh, running off on me. If you're feeling great, you could rep a slightly higher pace. This is enough for me at the moment. Just focus on keeping those knees out. Dumbbell in nice and close upright posture. We've got that dumbbell snatch. Compound lifts definitely take it out of you.
job onto that push jerk or push press if you're struggling with the push jerk. So we've got a minute off. I'm actually going to move up to some 25 kilo. That's 55 pounds per dumbbell. Uh, we're going to do deadlift, floor press, and this is where you can do a bench press if you've got a bench. You can just do it on the floor, and then some single arm rows. If you're looking to get better results with your training, um, I've got a lean body nutrition plan and a lean muscle nutrition plan. The lean body plan is focused towards fat loss and strength maintenance. The lean muscle plan is focused towards strength gain um, without gaining too much fat. So check those out. I'll link them in the description below also just to complement your training. All right, let's get ready for those deadlifts. So feet hip width apart hips back, you can bend your legs, scoot through and up. So hips push back, bend the knees, flat back, scoot through. Let the dumbbells stay really close to your shins. I don't go for an overhand or a neutral grip. I like to have them 45 degrees to one another on this. So hips scoot back, upper back stays engaged, slight knee bend. Scoot through and up. Let's do one more. Forget the timer. Yeah. All right. Next up, you could wheel a bench over and do a bench press. Or if you haven't got one, you could just do a floor press. Oh. I'm just going to have my elbows out slightly, but not too much. And we're just going to press up to the top and come back down till elbows touch. <laughs> elbows make contact, press back to the top. Next, we're gonna do a single arm row. You can lean on a chair or a box um, or a dumbbell like I'm going to. You could also do it kneeling on the bench if you've got a bench out. But do whatever's available to you. Do single arm, 30 seconds. back towards the pocket. Wow, I went heavy with this. 25 sounded all right when I was planning the workout.
Well, that's tough. I'm glad we got these rest intervals in. So we've got 45 seconds off. There's round one of three done. So we're going to go to those deadlifts. This is where the straps are going to come in really useful. If you've got chalk, that's a much quicker option, the straps. The weightlifting straps do take some practice to get used to. A little bit of chalk goes a long way as well. So this is like a Romanian deadlift, but we're going to allow a little bit more of a leg bend towards the bottom of the movement. So start off like a Romanian. When it starts to get towards the knees, you can bend then press through the floor and then repeat. So you should be pushing down like a leg press from the bottom position and then squeezing your glutes through like a glute bridge. So it's a mix of the two. Do not let the dumbbells hang out in front of the body too far or it will put stress on your lower back. Onto that bench or floor press. Great job. So you can either go for that kneeling row on the bench or this supported row on a box or dumbbell or whatever you can find to support your other arm on. Just takes a bit of pressure off your lower back. I prefer these to bent over rows, especially if you're pairing them with deadlifts. Doing a bent over row in a superset with a deadlift. It's just a recipe for backache usually, so unless you're using very light weights. One to go. I think that's about all I've got left in me anyway. So we're back to those dumbbell deadlifts. Let's try and steal some water. Remember, dumbbells stay in close to your shins, ideally always above your shoelaces. Hips shoot back, a little leg bend. Drive through the balls of your feet and your heels. You should have even pressure on both. No 
that. Got that bench or floor press now. All right, let's get ready. Just got those single arm rows left to do. 30 seconds per side. Nearly there, stay with me. Make sure you row in up, but also back towards your hips slightly. So you shouldn't be going up in a straight line. You wanna try and engage the lats a little bit more by rowing back. And that's it. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout and where in the world you're following along from. Check out my seven day dumbbell series, which I'll link here. If you fancy continuing and just doing a little cool down stretch, I'll link one here. Ebooks that I mentioned are linked below. Hit the thumbs up, make sure you subscribe. The bigger the channel gets, the more time I can dedicate to putting together these videos. I'd love to be doing two or three every week. See you again soon for another workout.